All right, Mike, thank you so much. We're out here in our digital plaza where, as you mentioned, uh, players are going to be stopping by throughout the day. And we start with the reigning Pac-12 champs from UW, Keyshawn Bieri and Jake Browning. Uh, guys, good to see you again. Look uh, fresh coming off the summer. How's everything going? Yeah, everything's been going pretty well. Yeah, it's been going pretty well. Yeah. You just got back from a trip from Hawaii, I hear. Yeah, yeah study abroad trip. Uh -huh. I had to finish off my minor in anthropology. So, yeah, it was a great trip. You know, I uh, did some farming, you know. Uh, some farming yeah. in Hawaii. Yep, yep. We had farmed a uh, taro plant, which is like the indigenous plant in Hawaii. Yeah, he used to eat nine pounds of it. It's kind of like a natural steroid. It explains a lot about the Hawaiian people, really. <laughs> um, yeah, but, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, it's very expensive, for, uh, like kind of food here in the states but uh it's definitely very important to Hawaiian people and you had a little bit of fun even though obviously the student yeah. part of student athlete comes first Hopefully yeah you, you know I did a little, a little boogie bit. boarding a little surfing <laughs> and, yeah um, some good. kayaking good yeah it was nice uh you didn't go to Hawaii no uh you were having I'm sure it's just as fun of a summer though you had off-season shoulder surgery which I know is, is a big talking point um everybody wants to know how are you feeling Jake uh yeah I mean I feel good uh, it was a while ago feels like a long time ago but I've hasn't held me back from anything for you know months now so all, all ready to go what's the biggest difference for you you look at your first two years at UW coming in to your junior season either mentally or physically what's kind of something that you've noticed that's different uh, you know just trying to find little different things every off season that uh, you know you can improve your off season routine with uh, I think this year it was, it was trying to eat like maybe eat a little bit healthier you know before I was a college student that was just like what's cheap I'll eat that let's just keep it simple but now it's like okay maybe eat a little bit healthier spend that extra dollar or two and eat a little bit healthier uh, but I think it's kind of the same idea of just trying to find something that you need to improve at uh, and how you can improve and kind of get an original with it so what do you have for breakfast uh, eggs and bacon okay I'll take that yeah that seems healthy enough yeah so that's not really healthy <laughs> Uh, I want to look back at last year real quick. Obviously, you guys had an incredible run, made it to the college football playoff. Um, as you look back at that film from Alabama, and I'm curious as, as to how much you guys have watched it, what, what's your biggest takeaway, Keyshawn? Um, I watched that game a few times. How many? I'm not going to give you a real number, but I'll, I'll just say a few times. <laughs> okay, um, fair. I definitely try to just go through every, well, every play, you know, uh, seeing the things I could have done better. Um, seeing the mistakes we made, but I definitely think that game came down to a few plays. Um, it definitely came down to some missed tackles um, and just not fully executing. But other than that, uh, we had the opportunities. We had a lot of missed ops opportunities. Um, you know, we definitely had that game. You know, we we were in that game. Mm -hmm. You know, all the way up until the end. And uh, yeah, I, I think uh, you know if we played them the next day, it might have been a different outcome. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of faith in our team and. Uh, they really, we really played great as far as I, I, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I think for offense, I mean, we were going against defense like that as, you know, just about every single one of those guys play in the NFL. And, uh, you know, a lot of them went really high in the draft. you got to take advantage of those couple of opportunities you're going to have. You know, you're not, it's not going to be every drive is, you know, okay, we better score this drive. It's, okay, you're going to have a couple drives and we got to really put it together. And, uh, you know, I think we started well. Then we started turn, we turned the ball over too much. You know, team like that. Can't, can't turn the ball over. You got to control field position and, uh, you know, hopefully play great defense. But, you know, I think there's just those couple of plays that can really change the game. And uh, offensively, you know, got a lot of guys coming back. I think that's a, it's a motivation that, you know, we felt like we were, we were close in it, playing pretty well. But there's just those couple of plays that, that can change the whole play and just the whole season, too. You mentioned offense and some guys coming back. Uh, new offensive corner in Matt Lubick. How uh, has that relationship been going? Yeah, so he's co offense coordinator still with uh, Coach Smith. And so, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of the same offense. He brings a lot of cool ideas from Oregon. Obviously, they're really successful on, on offense for the last couple of years and you know, for, like, the last decade, really. And so, you know, he's got a lot of film of, you know, Mariota doing different plays, which is, uh, you know, something I'm interested in watching. And uh, just, just fresh ideas. You know, a lot of the guys that we had in, on our offensive staff were Boise State guys or had Boise State ties. So, you know, they all kind of... You know, they all come up with original ideas, but they all kind of came from the same coaching tree. So you get somebody from something completely different, kind of bring some new stuff to the table. You mentioned Mariota. That's interesting to me. What When you watch him, what are you, what are you kind of looking for? Uh, I mean, I was more watched how he operated some plays that, you know, Lubick brings and, uh, you know, how he kind of went through his reads, what his time was, how long he stayed on each, each progression, stuff like that. Uh, you know, I haven't really watched him that hard, but... You know, they have cut-ups of, okay, here's this play we want to run that we've ran for 10 years at Oregon, so 
you know, okay, let's run our practice, maybe struggle with it a little bit first, you kind of go through and watch. Okay, here's how he did it and it was successful, so try and take some of that and put it into your own game. All right, well, let's talk about the defense, and I think obviously the one thing that keeps being brought up, Keyshawn, is what's the secondary going to look like um, with all the guys you lost to the NFL. Uh, tell UW fans why they shouldn't be concerned about that. <laughs> oh, well, um, first, I would say uh, that coach that is in charge of the secondary, Coach Lake, has always done a phenomenal job bringing great talent and guys in with great character. And uh, most importantly, he always finds the most competitive guys like around like campuses for some reason. And... Uh, Really, um, from what I see from our freshmen, and especially guys from here, they're just a lot hungrier. You know, um, these guys, like, we'll do a full workout, guys are tired, and they're like, okay, we got to get extra. We got to run a little more. And uh, that's something they've been really consistent with. You know, they're consistent with trying to get better and improve always. And uh, this isn't just coming from seniors or juniors. This is from all the way down to the freshmen. Guys who are first day in, they're like, what can we do to get better? And uh, they're going to be really surprised in what we got coming out this year. I mean, we definitely got some loaded, we got some talent, and we got some guys who are just willing to just go out there and ball for their teammates. So Jake it's is shaking be, his head, yeah. 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 No, that, you've got, you've got yeah. the perspective, you know. Yeah, I go against them just about every day. So, yeah, I think we got some young guys that are, that are ready for their time to step up. Uh, you know, they were behind a bunch of NFL guys. And so, you know, now they, they have that opportunity to step into a, a defense that, you know, is returning a lot of other guys, and they're kind of the ones that maybe feel the pressure, like, hey, we're the ones, the new guys, and got these, you know, big shoes to fill. And so, you know, I, I think they're pretty excited about it. Awesome. Uh, well, we appreciate you guys stopping by with us. Jake Brown and Keyshawn Bieria, look out for that UW defense and offense is going to be uh, something to watch moving forward. Guys, we'll send it back to you in the main stage.